Hey everyone, Joel Hansen, we're fishing to BC, British Columbia. This is one of my favorite airport views at the Abbotsford Airport. There's, I mean, it's kind of cloudy, but there's just like these big mountain ranges literally visible right from the airport. On a clear day, you can see like snowy peaks and everything. It's super cool. Um, yeah, so here we are. Let's have some fun. We're back with my good friend Scott. Today we are at Lucy's, Lucy's Eastside Diner, which is a classic diner here in Vancouver, uh, British Columbia. So we're here to do their Uncle Grant's Challenge, the massive burger with grilled cheese buns, then pulled pork, and then mac and cheese and a milkshake, and maybe something else. Is there something else? We'll find out. We're gonna have 20 minutes to do it. This place is open 24 hours a day. It's a pretty interesting diner. So let's go on in, check it out. Might have been here before, it's a good spot, and uh, let's have some fun. Everyone, so here we go, we've got the Uncle Grant's challenge in front of us. So I did forget something. Uh, so essentially, we have the six patty burger with all the bacon, all the cheese, grilled cheeses as buns. We have a poutine, and then we have a macaroni with pulled pork on top. So it sounds really good, not to mention massive milkshakes. These things are thick, look at this. Like you can tell how cold that is. I write my name on the side of it. So you're gonna pick the uh, milkshake kind. I went with a Oreo coconut and I got him to throw on some peanut butter. And then Scott went with an Oreo peanut butter. So it sounds good. Uh, the overall record is 632 or 652, we're unsure. So that's a theoretical record. Randy Santel was in here, did this in about uh, nine minutes, 55 seconds. Magic Mitch did this in 11 minutes as well. So yeah, we're just gonna kinda see what we can do. See what happens. Count us down whenever you're ready, my friend. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, go. Voila, enjoy. Those burgers are hot. They are cheap. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we're at Lucy's Eastside Diner in Vancouver, British Columbia. Here to do the Uncle Grant's Challenge. Here with my friend Scott and we had both previously completed this challenge. So we were allowed to come back and do it to give it a go uh, after a long closure period and to see if we could ultimately get the record. So this was both of our second challenge of the day. So we were not in optimal shape to get a record. The record was either 632 or 652. It was written on a picture and none of us were actually really sure what it said. It was either 632 or 652. But let me tell you how the gentleman got the record. That's pretty funny. They're having a eating contest. It's being filmed. Can you see? Two beautiful men, and I can't even believe what's on their plates. Uh -huh. Look. Everything. They're eating everything. Like a lot. So apparently the way that the gentleman got the record at the time was by pouring everything onto the plate like the milkshake, the poutine, the macaroni and cheese, and the burger, and just mashing it together with his hands into a complete sloppy mess, and then, you know, I guess eating it, proceeding to eat it with his hands. So essentially he blenderized it, or again, masticated it with his hands, and then just kind of ate it as a mush. Which, where that, I mean, you know, that's not really the way to enjoy it, I wouldn't say. Um, but I will say, this is a challenge where they don't let you to, like, have a real cool off time. So they basically put it down and basically want you to start while the food's hot. Um, so actually mixing it with the cold milkshake would probably cool things off and make it easier to eat. As you're going to hear me mention a few times that everything was burning burning hot um, and let's just say I always you know never want to get burnt so we try to be cautious as we can super hot <clears throat> The difficulty of this challenge is the short time limit. So it's not that it's an absolutely massive amount of food. Overall, it's probably about, I don't know, let's say four and a half pounds, something in that regard. Uh, maybe, like if you include the milkshake, maybe a little bit more, but we'll say about four and a half pounds of food, but it's only a 20 minute time limit. And especially if they want you to start while it's hot, that does kind of slow things down. But again, as per the old gentleman's record, apparently you can kind of mash it up, mix it all together, and kind of go from there. Challenge is $45 if you do not complete it, so it is quite a steep price tag. Um, but I guess it's 
maybe part of one the challenge to the location it's a very unique spot it is a 24-hour uh, diner and it would you know apparently draw all types of different individuals as there literally is written on the rules that you have to be sober to try the challenge but yeah like i said uh really nice of the staff at lucy's to accommodate us here especially again after long closure but that is pretty much all I have to say. Um, oh, here, I'll add this. So when I first did this challenge, I did it in approximately eight and a half, nine minutes. And when Scott first did his challenge, he did it in about 12 or something. But again, these are our second challenges of the day. So take that in consideration. With that, enjoy the rest of the video. Oh, yeah. Oh, but this is not hot either. It's hot. Okay guys, we're five minutes in. Joel just has the milkshake and the macaroni left. I've got half the meat, poutine, and the macaroni, so I'm a little bit behind like I thought I would be, but uh, he's doing well. well. We're almost out. This is thick. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was a close one. Hard doing that second time day. But uh, whew, that was bad. Milkshake was delicious. I wish I could have enjoyed that a little bit more. The milkshake and peanut butter is oh, it's great. Very thick though. So now, we've got Mr. Scott just finishing up. Excuse me, keep killing Scott. We got a lovely crowd around us, great people. So let's finish up as, uh, let's finish watching as Scott destroys this challenge. Good job, dude, keep that.
Nice, so we're roughly nine minutes in. Scott's absolutely crushing it. He only has his macaroni left, and then some of the milkshake. He already got a bit of it down. So he ain't got much left. The man is killing it. I have to be extra diligent cleaning my mouth with the napkins now that I have this little piece of work on my face. Scotch is down to the milkshake. We're like maybe 11 minutes, 30 seconds. It's doing absolutely excellent. Absolutely crushing that thing. Especially if we're doing a back to back. Excuse me. I'm like Joel, I get to enjoy this thing. <laughs> it's a good milkshake. It is very good. Like very peanut butter, very Oreo. It's just, unfortunately records don't allow you to enjoy the milkshakes <laughs> all the time. The man is done. About 13 minutes. Good about that. Good job, Scott. Kill the dude. It was all right. Uh, sorry about that, guys. A little slow, but uh, like Joel said, second one of the day, so... Slow? You killed it. What are you talking about? Ah, yeah. I don't know. I wanted to get that 10-minute mark, but 13... Excuse me, not too bad. No, it's no, yeah. not, not, not at all. So, that everybody, thanks for watching. Lucy's definitely a cool little spot here in Vancouver. I'm sure to check it out. Pretty interesting challenge, like I said. Uh, really enjoyed the milk shake. Overall, it's just a, a unique, unique variety of foods. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool. You like it, Scott? Yeah, it was actually really delicious. I always liked the milkshake to end it off, and it was, uh, I enjoyed it. Delicious. Um, and yeah, like I said, thanks for joining me again, Joel. As always, dude. My pleasure. All right. So everybody, until next time, of course, stay happy, healthy, hungry. Don't do what we do. And of course, till next time, happy eating. I can't even reach. <laughs> <laughs>